Welcome back to the Forest of Steaks. Mmm, delicious, delicious steaks. High steaks. Oh! <laughs> Seriously. Woods. Scary <laughs> in the dirk. Frightening ever so. It's very dirk. Thank God for these illuminated pages. Jake Gibbs, London, England, 1962. Professor of History. Suspected for the kidnapping of the most interesting man alive. He's appeared in the adjoining areas of a cabin owned by his family. The missing persons have in common certain people. indirect factors, Suspected. religions, or pagan practices, foreign nationalities. Allegedly. <laughs> are not reason enough for the local police to start an investigation. Doorways link the profiles of the victims to the topics in which Professor Gibbs specializes. Mm. I like the bottom says unclassified. I'm classified knowledge. It's just your standard seal killer. Everyone knows about him. Talk that away in my notes. The camera moves really smoothly. I'm grateful. The last couple of games I've played, the, the camera moves skittishly. I'm not sure how to describe it. It just feels slippery. Like you can't really move without going like this all the time to try to steady yourself. So it's yeah. really smooth. It does look, it looks really nice. I think that was my guy. What? What? I'm not sure if anything happened. I'm guessing I need to jump over these things. I'm assuming so, otherwise they wouldn't be blocking the path. Pretty painful. You won't want to step on a thorn. There's no one to pull it out. A torch? Yes. Beautiful. Light it there. Light here. Okay. To the left. Yes, I want this. So I'll just shove it in. Oh, okay, great. That's Wonderful. Ah, hey. Oh no. Did you step on it? Maybe as soon as I. Or was it because you jumped? Yeah, as soon as I jump, it's it's done. What is there? Try a... walking over that stick then. But it's so pointy. We'll just we'll we'll, we'll see. Maybe okay. you're wearing work boots. Oh, what? Maybe it just runs out really quick. Well, I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to be lighting on fire anyway, to be honest. I thought it was just so you could see better. That's certainly failed that. We have a torch now. There's several flames in the area. Like, yeah. I'd arrived at the crossroads. I knew I had to keep going and follow his steps if I wanted to find the professor. But I found something about the place absolutely terrifying. I felt trapped, oppressed by those dark veils, and I knew that I wouldn't be able to stand a single minute lost in the darkness. I need to find a light source as soon as possible. So what you're saying is I was supposed to read that first. Yeah. That's cool. <clears throat> We're just one step ahead of the game. Yeah, we did it already. Do you? Okay. No more magical lamps in this direction. Uh, help Ooh, me! Made the it. dark veils. They're touching me. Are you just running by exactly back where you came from? Is this? I thought it was a different spot. Is it? Yes. You're right. I don't know what I'm doing. Sort of. Ugh. Okay, I guess I'll keep going that way. Yeah, yeah. So it'd be terrifying. So easy to get lost in the woods. Oh shit! <gasps> oh, Ooh. what? Flashback? The fuck? You think he can see what these psychopaths did? Oh, the ghosts of the victims. That's very possible. In fact, it's downright probable, given what we just saw. <laughs> Alright. Getting kind of freaked out of the dark here. It's, uh... I'm not sure if he's blinking or really what that is, but... Yeah, I was gonna ask. <laughs> not this torch! This torch! Sounds good. This... Looks like progress to me. 
rickety old Jesus, bridge. That's, that's some nice wood texture. Yeah, it's, it looks really good. I would not. I would not. I would pretty much just never be in any of the situations any of these games present ever. Like, nope. I was reading a blog on Play Disgusting and one of the things they say is like, one of the only reasons that... You done, cat? Yeah, <laughs> okay. One of the only reasons that horror is allowed to exist, according to this, this writer, was because like it, people were stupid. And what? if people weren't stupid, or didn't do stupid things, then we wouldn't have the horror genre. Like, well, that fucking depends on what horror movies and stuff you watch. I mean, I hate it when people are just completely stupid and that's the only reason the plot can actually progress. Yeah. So, I don't know. The horror community itself is very divided and self-loathing, so... <laughs> <laughs> Much like every community for everything. Much like every person. <laughs> <sighs> Humans be complicated, man. What? Ooh. Is that a s real person? Or a statue? She's breathing. She's moving. Oh. What? She oh, gross. <laughs> <laughs> she was so itty bitty. <laughs> I thought she was like a statue. Find another way. Oh, did you die? You can't go by her. Man, you need a fucking torch. I wouldn't really want to go by her. I thought that was my only option. Leap and grab! That's not how this works. I'm not really sure if I can grab onto anything. Well, that goes into an abyss. Yeah, I really would like a torch, s'il vous plaît. You get that one? Uh, oh, well, really up that eye. A torch out. I like how like, it puts it out in front of you like every time, like, CANDLE! God damn it. Fur. Furkater. Okay, there's gotta be something I can grab and pull, right? I mean, come on. Come on. Wait a minute, maybe I can pull these and I just- I always have my torch out, so... Put your goddamn torch away. No, you took it out oh. again. I'll just jump. Nope, that didn't work. I don't remember how to put things away. Oh god damn. X? I don't think I said it. Oh. What did you press? I pressed F. Doesn't matter, because it doesn't move. Oh, mm. curses. Find another way. Torches are too damn high. I don't even realize I'm going back to the beginning. I'm just retracing my steps. In case there's some object of use back here, and I can't nothing see if and if there was something of interest. Can't move any of these planks. And probably check out this particular area. I was saying, it didn't mean like I guess it could have meant, like, find a totally, completely different way. I wonder. Oh, <laughs> fucking... I don't much care for that, however real it may be. Well, I guess you're not supposed to take fire with you across the bridge? Because, like, you have to jump. And I guess that's true. They want you to navigate perfect dark. Perfect darkness. Okay. Um. Hmm. Find another way altogether does seem kind of strange. Especially because you were so far down the bridge. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And you don't have like any other items or anything, right? I have a statue. <laughs> Give her the statue. Please um, forgive me. I go through town. 
Oh, that was a relic, not an item. Oh. I think the only item I actually have is the torch. Oh. A torch. Very well then, very well. Yeah, no other items. Unless I was supposed to pick something up back there, but how would I know? It's dark and depressive. This is down to a familiar and there she is, son of a gun. Hmm. Can I like jump? Oh, maybe I can go like. Oh, I hate this if this is true. <laughs> I'll just like walk past. Wow. <laughs> That's kind of funny. You fucking serious? She's not a smart ghost. Alright, in the next episode <laughs> we'll proceed down this, and I'm sorry for wasting everybody's time.